This is how you can make a mention inbox system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you could go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have released a bot tier subscription where you can get the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. You can also get any of these four bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get in the code. Alright so to start we're going to go over two schemas and we're going to go ahead and create inbox.js. Within this we're going to get a user string, a message string, a guild string, an id string, and a channel string and just save it like this. Go ahead and pause the video to set this up. Then we can go over to community and we're going to go ahead and create inbox.js. Within this we're going to get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder and then we're going to go ahead and do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. We can also do const inbox equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our schemas so we can do that and we're also going to get our inbox schema then we can do module that exports and we're going to go ahead and create our command so we're going to go in and start by setting a name with inbox description is redundant it doesn't matter our first sub command is going to be git with the description of git your message inbox uh, then we're going to go ahead and say another sub command with the name clear the description of clear your message inbox and then we're going to go ahead and get an ID uh, string option. And we're going to set the description of that to the ID of the message to clear. Type all to clear everything. And we're going to set required to true. So once we set up both of those commands, we're going to do async executes. And we can go ahead and run our interaction. And we're going to open this up. We're going to start off by getting our options. And then we can do equals interaction. We can also do const sub equals options that get sub command. So now that we have all that, we can go ahead and do var data equals await inbox dot find. We're going to get our user, which can be our interaction.user.id. Now we're going to go ahead and do async function, and we're going to get our send message, and we're going to pass in our message parameter. In here, we're going to get our embed, which is going to be our new embed builder. And I'm going to go ahead and just start off by setting a color, and we can just go ahead and make that blurple. I'm also going to go ahead and set a description, and we're just going to pass in our message parameter. Then we can do await interaction or apply. We're going to go ahead and get our embeds here, and that's going to be our embed. And we're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true. So now that we've done all of that, we can actually go ahead and switch to our subcommand. So we're going to switch to our subcommand, and we're going to get our case, which is going to be git. We're going to go ahead and start off by saying if data.length and we can do is equal to zero. We're just going to go ahead and reply with an await send message, and we're just going to say you have nothing in your inbox. Then we're going to say else, and we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things. The first is going to be var string equals, and we can do mail emoji, and we can do your inbox. Then we're going to do await data for each. We're going to do async value, and we're going to open that up. We can do string plus equals, and then we can do two backslash ends and arrow. We can do message content with our value.message, and then we can get a message link. So that's going to be the disk discord.com slash channel slash value.guild slash value.channel slash value.id and then we can go ahead and do our id which is backslash tick value.id backslash tick so after we've done that we have our string so let's just go ahead and run one more check so we can do if string dot length and then we can do is greater than or equal to we can say 2000 we're going to go in and return wait send message and we can go ahead and just get a caution emoji and i'm just going to go ahead and say your inbox is too full to send run and we can do clear and we can go ahead and do all and we can say to clear it so we're going to say run the clear command to clear it and the reason we're doing this is because if this length gets to be above the embed character limit we want to return i don't actually know what that character limit is but i think it's around 2000 so we're just going to call it good at that then we can do wait send message and i'm just going to go ahead and get our string variable so now we're actually done with that all we've done here is just get everything within our inbox so let's go ahead and make a sub command that will allow us to clear our inbox so we're going to go ahead and set that up we can start off by doing const id equals options to get string that's going to be our id string we can do if data.length is equal to zero we're going to go ahead and return await send message and i'm going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and we can go ahead and say you have nothing in your inbox just like that so now we're going to go ahead and do if id equals and we can do all in capital letters then we're going to do await inbox and we can do dot delete many and we're going to get our user which is going to be our interaction.user.id just like that so now we can go in and do await send message and i'm just going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and we can go ahead and say i have cleared your inbox 
just like that. So after we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and say else, and now we're gonna clear it based off of the ID. So we can do var check datum equals await inbox dot find one. We're gonna get our user, which can be our interaction dot user dot ID, and our ID, which can be our ID. Then we're gonna do if, and we can do no check data. We're gonna go to return await send message, and we can go ahead and get our caution emoji. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say that ID does not exist in your inbox, just like that. So that's just checking to see if the ID actually exists within the inbox because we can't delete something that doesn't exist. Then we're gonna do await inbox that deletes one, and we're gonna go ahead and get our user, which is gonna be our interaction.user.id, and we can get our ID, which can be our ID. So we're just gonna delete the same data we checked for above. Then we're gonna do await send message, and we can go ahead and get our globe emoji, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, I have deleted the message with the ID and we can go ahead and do our backslash tick and i'm just going to go ahead and do our id variable just like that so next we are actually done with the setup and git commands so let's go ahead and close out of this and we can go over to events and i'm going to go ahead and create another inbox.js so to start within this we're going to go ahead and get similar things to what we did before we're going to get events and permissions bit field and we're going to get that from the discord.js package then we're going to get inbox from our schema then we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and get our name, which is going to be events.message creates. And we can go ahead and do async executes. We're going to get our message and we can open this up. We're going to say if no message.guild or message.author.bot. We can go ahead and return. Uh, then we're going to do var members equals await message.guild.members.fetch. And we can also do async function create. We're going to get our member and we can open this up. We're gonna say if, and we can do member.id is equal to our message.author.id, then we're just gonna go and return. Then we can do const member permissions equals, and we can do message.channel.permissions4, and we can go and get our member. Then we can say if no member permissions, and we can say or, and we can do no member permissions, and we can do dot has, and we can do permissions bit field, and we can do dot flags, and we're also gonna do dot view channel, and we're just gonna go ahead and return as well. This is really important. It's actually checking to see if the member has view channel permissions for the channel with the message, because if we mention somebody, like an at everyone ping in a staff channel, and um, it went ahead and added that mention to everybody's inbox on the server, that would be a huge problem. So we wanna handle that right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and do await inbox, and we can go ahead and do dot create, and we can get our user, which is gonna be our member.id. We can go ahead and get our message, which is gonna be our message.content. We can go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our message.guild.id. We can get our ID, which is gonna be our message.id. And we can get our channel, which is going to be our message.channel.id. All right, so we've done our create function. Now let's go ahead and write some code to handle this. So the first thing is going to be if message.mentions.members.size, and we can say is greater than zero. We can open this up, and we're gonna say await message.mentions and we can go ahead and do dot members stuff for each and I'm gonna go ahead and open up a member just like that so within this we're just gonna go ahead and run our create function so we can do a way to create and we're gonna go ahead and pass in our member just like that so then we're gonna go ahead and say else if and we can do our message dot content that includes and I'm gonna go ahead and get at here or we could go ahead and say message.content.includes and we can go ahead and get at everyone. Then we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We can do weights and we can do members that for each this time. We can do async member, we can open this up. We can do a wait to create and we're gonna pass in our member just like we did above. So then we have one more logical statement to make. So this time we're gonna say else and we can do wait message.mentions.roles and we can do dot filter we can do async role and we can open this up we're gonna do wait members that for each and we can do async member and we can open that up as well we're gonna say if member dot roles that cash that has and we can go ahead and get our role that id uh, then all we have to do is send a check so we can do a way to create and we're going to go ahead and get our member just like that. So this is kind of a pretty large permission statement and check statement, but what we're essentially doing is first we're checking to make sure that there are mentions. And if there are mentions, that means the user probably went like this and mentioned them just like that. And if that is true, then we went ahead and run our create function for that member. 
Uh, then we go ahead and do uh, another check statement to see if it's a here or everyone ping. And if it is, we run through the members and we do a create for all the members that received that ping. Um, and then obviously every time we run through the create, we check to make sure the member has permissions to view that channel. For example, if we pinged everyone in a staff channel, then we want to make sure that message does not include in the member's inbox. Uh, and then lastly, we check the role. So we filter the roles and then we run our create function if the member has the role that is being pinged. So with that, we're actually done with this entire system. So let's go ahead and save the files, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord, let's go ahead and test this out. I'm just going to go ahead and empty this out so we have a base to start on. Let's go ahead and run our inbox, and we can go ahead and get it. So you're, what you're going to notice is we have nothing in the inbox. That's because nobody has pinged me. So let's go ahead and go over to a different account. And on this account, let's go ahead and just ping me. So we can do me, and we can say hello testing inbox system or something like that. So now that we've pinged it, let's go back over into the other accounts. And now if we go ahead and run our inbox gates, we're going to notice that we have one message. So the message content is going to be at me and then it's going to say hello testing inbox system. We're going to have a message link so we can actually go ahead and follow it to that channel so we can actually view the real message. And then obviously we have the message ID. So let's go ahead and check this two more times so we can go back over into the other account. This time the other account has perms. So let's go ahead and go over to a private channel. We can just go to the exact same channel we're already in and let's go ahead and mention the role that I have. While we're at it, let's go ahead and mention here and we can also mention everyone and we can just go ahead and do that. So now let's go back over into the other account and we're going to notice those messages. So now if we get our inbox, we can go ahead and get it. So we can do inbox and we can do get and we can go ahead and send it. Now, as you can see, we have all of those messages. So we have our original message, we have our role ping, we have our here ping, and we have our everyone ping. So I'm not gonna go over everything because this system has a lot to go over, but I'm gonna mention a few things. If for some reason I was pinged in a channel that I didn't have permissions in, it would not show up on my inbox. Also, if I were to run this inbox gift on my account, as you can see, it's empty. Even though pings were made that I received by myself, um, I'm not going to get anything in my inbox because I made those pings. The other thing is this works interchangeably within other servers. So for example, if I went over into a different server that the bot was in and I received a ping, then it would show up in this inbox. So that's kind of the whole point. It's like a collecting pot of all of the mentions you receive from all of your guilds. So finally, let's just go ahead and clear the inbox. Let's start by clearing maybe the first message we got so we can copy and paste that ID and we can go ahead and get our inbox one more time. So now as you can see that message is gone but we still have the other three messages. So now let's just go ahead and try to clear the entire thing so we can do our inbox clear and let's go ahead and type in all. So it's going to say I've cleared the inbox and if we go ahead and run inbox get as you can see it's going to say you have nothing in your inbox because we've deleted the entire thing. So it's kind of hard to show everything in this system because there's so much but I do encourage you to go test this out on your own. Experiment with all the permissions, the interchangeable servers and everything like that. But that is how you can make a mention inbox system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this go and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video